Hey guys, welcome back to another Cot TV vlog. Holy guacamole. I have just received a package and it's super exciting. And the reason it's super exciting is because I have been waiting too long <laughs> to get this. And I'll explain the full story in a moment, but I'm gonna grab these packages, bring them inside and start unboxing them. Okay, so now that I'm pretty much like settled down and I've brought these in and taken all of the details off the packages. <laughs> um, I want to quickly discuss with you pretty much a little bit about the challenges and um, I guess issues that I had when I was purchasing this kit. This is a K-Swap kit for a 180SX using a ZF transmission. Um, this is off TFWorks. Um, they are based in Illinois, I think. I'm not entirely too sure. Um, and these guys are actually the only people in the world that currently, in 2022, make this kit. So, in saying that, they pretty much determine the, the market price um, for these kits. So, to purchase something like this, I can't exactly remember the US figure, but the Australian conversion figure was approximately... I think about six and a half grand that includes shipping um, in Australian uh, in US I think it was like four and a half our dollar was really crap when I bought it um, which was probably stupid of me but I did anyway because I couldn't wait any longer um, so that's pretty much how much this costed me now do keep in mind which I didn't that when it arrives in Australia if you are ordering it from Australia you have to actually pay a tax on that. So if you pay tax, they charge you like a duty, a levy, and like a GST, right? Like or a value added tax. That came to about $510 or something like that, Australian, um, on top of paying $800 Australian shipping. So all up, that works out to be like $1,300 that you've spent in shipping and GST alone, okay? So I think if you want to do a case swap, just keep that in mind. Um, unless you're buying someone's secondhand kit locally, which is like very rare, um, that's how much it will cost you. And also you have to wait quite a long time. So basically I ordered this in November. I ordered this in November last year. Now, the thing, the problem that I had was TFWorks is a very large company to my knowledge. They service a lot of people. Um, Hoonigan does promote them, so obviously that is quite a big thing. Um, and I guess, again, these are the only guys in the world that do this, so they would be cranking pretty much like 24-7. I was dealing with this guy initially, and I, every time I tried to call them, they were like too busy to answer my calls like this specific person i would send them emails after emails after emails he wouldn't reply so then another guy was like look i was getting frustrated and i was like i just want to buy a kit like how hard is that like just send me a quote and i'm gonna transfer you the money right anywho so i was like just transfer me through to someone who can help me so another person took over and Basically, like he was pretty good at the start and then he kind of like got the money and then he was a little bit harder to grab a hold of. Um, so when I called him in the new year, in January, um, when they were open, it was very hard to grab a hold of this guy. And I was like, okay, so this whole time I haven't been able to like grab a hold of somebody. I've given them a lot of money. I've been speaking to them, you know, for like a couple months prior being like, hey, this is what I want to do. And now all of a sudden they've got like, you know, they just disappear like whenever they want. So look, I understand that they're a big corporation and they're super busy. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure that their products are amazing. Um, and that's probably why they have an influx of um, orders or whatever they're doing. Um, however, I just believe like the customer service part could probably be a little bit better um, from that specific company. So look, again, I'm super excited to open this. And I'm super grateful to have this in my hands right now after waiting so long to actually receive the package I paid for. But I do want to quickly touch on one more thing. 
Uh, this kit right now does not have my oil sump in it that I ordered because basically the company was saying that they don't have materials. And this is why I think that maybe they were avoiding the email a little bit because they said that they don't have the materials because of the current world situation. I don't want to mention it just in case. Um, current world situation, they haven't been able to grab a hold of this material to make the oil sump. So I was like, look, I understand that, but like, could you have at least told me instead of me calling you three times for like a week and emailing you and getting no response because you not have just said that that was the problem initially and just like be proactive about your customer service, but nope. I had to chase him around constantly and figure out what was going on. Then he finally told me that and he said it's gonna be another six to eight weeks additionally. I am meant to be getting this car like Nori sorted for April. So I wanna be at the track testing the car by then. If I was to wait another five to six weeks, six to eight weeks, like that was saying, for the actual sum to be made and then it has to be shipped out, so that takes another three weeks or two weeks, um, it would end up May because we're in February now, we're in mid-February. So I said to him, I go, look, how about we just get all of the parts besides the sum and send them over to me? And if I need to sort a sump out, Shembri's custom shop is gonna do an amazing job at quickly fabbing something up. I wouldn't say quickly because it's probably a little tedious, um, but they are going to be of great help there. So by the way, totally recommend their work. Please go and check out um, Shembri's custom shop on Facebook. They're currently in the process of building the website, but go check them out if you're in Sydney. Amazing work, amazing fab, exhaust, whatever you need, they will do it. Wayne from Shembri's shop, will be fabricating um, a sump temporarily. So then we finally came to a conclusion and they said, no worries, we'll send it out. I said, okay, sweet. Um, so now here we are, we finally have it, <laughs> which I'm super, like, I'm super pumped about it. Like, don't get me wrong. Like it was very frustrating, the things that I had to kind of go through, but now that I have it in my hands, I'm a lot happier. Um, and again, I definitely do think that they'd probably make very quality parts. I definitely don't doubt that for one second. It's just a little bit of customer service and communication. I feel like that's something that they need to work on. Um, other than that, I think that we should just get to opening this because I'm super excited and I bet you guys are super excited. You wanna know what's in the TFX kit. Sorry about the mess behind me, guys. I'm kind of just going to try to avoid showing you guys the mess. I'm still kind of unpacking and, and all that kind of stuff because I have moved houses. Um, but I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna stab it with this. I don't even know where my box cutter is. I probably should go get it. This is super dangerous. I don't recommend this. Um, I don't know which one's which. I think the other box is the twin plate clutch thing. Um, I think that's what it is, but Let's just see. Let's just see what it comes with. I'm super excited to see this. Woo! Okay, so there's two boxes. There's one bigger one and there's one slightly smaller one. The bigger one's heavier though, I think. Is it? I can't even remember. Whoa! That's a, that's a big boy there. I'm gonna have to stab the other side. This looks so dangerous. Oh, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Okay, so it's a box in a box. That's what I can see so far. Do you guys want to be head mounted? Okay, I hope you guys can see what is going on. I don't exactly know how you're even meant to open this box. I think I'm opening this wrong. Or am I opening it right? And it's just really difficult. Ah, okay, see this perforation? I think that's how you're meant to open it. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Holy shit, what a box. I'm so nervous about this right now. Does it feel like the flywheel? Holy shit, boss. I'm so fucking excited! Oh, this is beautiful! Fuck baller. 
Bola, look at that. Oh my god. Uh, yo. See, again, TF works. This looks fucking sick. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm just feeling the bearing. Oh, it's so fresh. I haven't even like started opening the other parts and this just feels like, holy shit, this quality. Even the packaging, like, I know, I know that like I always freak out about packaging, but like that is really well done. Like the amount of protection that has is intense. So I'm gonna put this box over here and not worry about it right now. And now we've got this one. So now I know actually how to open these. That is so dangerous. All right. Uno. Dos. There should be one more. Yeah. Tres. Ah, oh, yeah, boy. Hell yeah. These are cool boxes. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, oh my God, yes. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Like I haven't ever spent this much money on parts before like this. And this is my dream swap if you didn't know guys. So this is like next level to me. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, twin disc. Ah. <laughs> it's so nice. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. So, sorry guys, we have the twin disc clutch setup. I don't know if you guys can see that. Holy cow, that is freaking stunning. Look at this baller ass freaking pot. Oh my God, it's a shame you can't see these kinds of items. <laughs> You know, um, so yeah, we've got also a clutch aligning tool, which is a nice addition. And in there, I can't exactly tell um, what it is. And I'm not even going to try guessing. Oh my God. Dreams come true, guys. Work hard enough and they will come true. All right, here we go. So now we've got the smaller parts up. Again, guys, I don't have the sump here. So usually this kit will come with the sump. Okay. Oh, freaking hell, yeah. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. <sighs> okay. What the f do I, like, where do I, st I don't even know what to start with. Uh, no, is this Honda genuine? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Is this flywheel bolts? Dude, I'm f nervous. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I can't believe I see Honda. Freaking, I have a Honda freaking motor going in my 180. This is literally a reality now. I can't go back. There's no going back. I'm so excited. Okay. <sighs> okay. So this, I think maybe is the trans mount. Wait, hang on a second. Yeah, okay, that's Bola. Whoa, okay. I'll tell you everything in an un momento, what everything does. Cause again, this is like my first time seeing this IRL. I don't even know what the hell, or where the hell things are meant to go. Okay, some sort of mount again. Actually no, I'll like take them out of the packaging. Dude, this is next level, whack. I'm sorry, but like, you know, their customer service might lack, but shit, their products are wow. I, I'm not even gonna lie, like. Oh my God, that is hot. This is the oil pickup. Oh, 
it's so pretty it's so pretty oh my god look how nice that looks it's all billet and so shiny and so nice mm. that is really nice holy shit. i was excited to see the oil pick up to be honest with you all right so we got that now let's just make sure you guys can see what's going on okay This is like ASMR right now. Oh, <laughs> baby. Wow, come to me. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. Apparently this needs to be modified slightly. Um, apparently this suits the K20, um, the K20 actually, not the K24A3. I think they do also work with some K24 generations but not the k24a3 so something he said is like three mil off so basically what you need to do is like drill out like some holes a little bit more and like that's pretty much it so this is oh my god that just ripped ah so this is the tfx mount this give it like i have anxiety right now like i don't know about you guys but when you get something really nice do you get like heart palpitations like from excitement like that's me right now like i'm actually dying okay this is the other mount. So what this mount does, basically guys, is it sits, it sits the motor lower and it positions it in the correct position that it needs to be to clear the bonnet. And also to work with the, um, to work with the gearbox as well. Whoop, there it is. Holy moly. Look at this bola setup. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Even though I was frustrated, this makes up all for all of the frustration. Oh, the bell housing adapter. Okay. ZF hardware, eh? Oh, wow. <laughs> Hell yeah, look at that. All right, this is this is the gold. This is the liquid gold. I'd say liquid, but really this is the solid gold. This is the thing that makes the ZF transmission along with that kit work with the K-Series. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like all this content. This content will be in the car very shortly. So um, yeah, if you want to follow the journey, please also subscribe and uh, turn on your little notification bell. Oh man, this is nice. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow guys so anyway that's pretty much the whole kit besides the sump now the sump so the sump um is the only part that i'm going to be waiting for but again it's going to be basically like fabbed up so um like if we need a temporary one and it doesn't make it in time but overall, let me show you a bit of a close-up again. So we've got like the engine mounts, we have the trans mounts, we have the oil pickup, we have some more brackets probably for the trans mounts, I'd assume. Um, and the hardware for the bell housing adapter, which is freaking nutty. I love it so much. Um, and the twin disc and flywheel setup which I'm super stoked about. The quality looks freaking crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it's absolutely gorgeous and it was packaged so well. So thank you so much TFWorks Kit for sending this out. Um, 
I super appreciate it and I can't wait to put this in my car and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm excited. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.